All right, today let's look at the profile of Eve. Eve, The Power of Choice by Rita Springer. If Adam and Eve were given a tool, a given a do-over in the garden, I doubt anything in our world would change. Even if Eve had found the strength to resist the serpent that day, the enemy would have tried to deceive her on another. The problem was not in the fact that Eve was given the power to choose. Choice is not a bad thing. God gave, God gave us his gift because he wants us to choose to obey him. But why did he give us free will? Without choice, we would be automatons, loving God out of obligation instead of delight. But this is not what the father wanted. For all the knowledge she lacked, Eve was educated in how to live out the reason for her being, which was relationship. Her purpose was to love God and reflect his goodness by loving Adam. Eve is usually remembered for her most famous mistake. But she is much more than one bad, deci bad decision, and so are we. I wonder why God even mentioned that, that tree in the first place. Why let Adam and Eve know it even existed? Why not just take it out of the garden or keep it under lock and key? But God chose not only to place that tree in the center of the garden, but also to warn mankind against eating of it. A profound thought occurred to me. Choice must have existed before creation. Scripture doesn't say much about the fall of Lucifer beyond what is recorded in Ezekiel 28 and Isaiah 14. So we really don't know what went down. What we can infer is that if Lucifer got puffed up enough to choose to rebel against God, free will had to have been in operation at the time. If Lucifer could lead a third of the angels in rebelling against God, then in the realm of the angelic and the supernatural, a choice existed to believe or to not believe. Somehow, a standard was set, and God's desire to be obeyed was made known. We were not created without the ability to obey. To obey. We were given the opportunity to decide whether we would. Our actions would then determine the direction we would take and the one we would serve. Choice is important in our understanding of God and his relationship with humanity. When we make choices, they are usually provoked by desire or need, intent or determination. God is always long to be our choice. When we choose him, he can reach us even faster with, with his transforming love because we stopped running from him. Choice, yes, is key.